Hello everybody, this is Miss Hill and I'm making my very first algebra video and it's going to be about re turning recursive descriptions into recursive formulas and that's what we talked about at the end of the Sierpinski triangle activity. If you remember, we ended the activity with three sequences. We had 3, 9, 27, 81 for the number of upward pointing triangles and then we had the sequence 1 fourth, 1 sixteenth, 1 64th and 1 over 256 for the area of one upward pointing triangles and then finally we had the sequence 3 fourths 9 sixteenths 27 64ths and 81 over 256 and that was for the total area of the new upward pointing triangles per stage and we know that the 3 was from these first numbers uh, the 3, the 1 fourth, and the 3 fourths were from the first stage or one application of the rule to create Sierpinski's triangle. And then we had to write recursive descriptions for these things in sentence format. And remember in class we said you had to have a start with, and in this case it was 3, and then the procedure to find the next term. And in this case it's multiply the previous by 3. And so if I write similar rules for all these, this one is start with 1 fourth, multiply previous by 1 fourth. And this one is start with 3 fourths, and then multiply previous by 3 fourths. Now, I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to write all this stuff out. I'm a mathematician. I don't want to write the words. There's symbols for all this. So I need to write this with symbols. Okay. so. In general, we say sequences um, can be defined like this. So a sub 1 is the first term, a sub 2 is the second term, a sub 3 is the third term, a sub 4 is the fourth term, so on and so forth. And then some general term, some generic term, would be a sub n. And the next one after that would be a sub n plus 1. So if I want to write this rule using a formula, I'm going to have to use these general terms right here. Okay, so I'm going to literally translate start with 3, multiply previous by 3 into a formula using this notation for sequences. Okay, so when I say start with 3, that means a sub 1, the very first term needs to be 3. So I simply write a sub 1 equals 3. This tells the person, whoever's looking at my rule, that the first term is 3. So now I have to write this multiply previous by 3, or the procedure using this notation. Well, I need to find a term and its previous term, but it has to be general. So I'm going to use a sub n and a sub n plus 1. a sub n is the previous term, and a sub n plus 1 is the next term. So the rule says take the previous term, which is a sub n, and multiply it by 3. So I'm going to multiply it by 3. And what does that equal? Well, it's going to equal the next term. And the next term in the sequence is one more in the subscript, so it's a sub n plus 1. And this, these two components right here form a recursive formula. It's a formula that will generate each term of the sequence, but it's described recursively, which means it requires the previous value to find the next value. So let's look at this one. How do I write this one? in this notation. Well, let's change colors. I'm going to change start with 1 fourth, multiply previous by 1 fourth into the rule in formula in a recursive formula format. So a sub 1 equals 1 fourth. Okay? And then I multiply the previous by 1 fourth means I take 1 fourth and I multiply it by a sub n and that will give me a sub n plus 1. Okay? And then I can do the same thing with the start with 3 fourths, multiply previous by 3 fourths. So I say a sub 1 equals 3 fourths. And then what do I do to find the next term? I multiply it by 3 fourths. a sub n equals a sub n plus 1. Now let's look at a different sequence, okay? That doesn't use the same number over and over again so we can actually see the difference. So if I have the sequence negative 3, negative 12, negative 48 and negative 192, I look at this sequence first and I have to figure out how the numbers are being generated. Well, I know it starts with a negative 3. And well, how do I turn a negative 3 into a negative 12? Well, I'm going to multiply the previous by 4. 
And does that hold up? Well, yes, because negative 12 times 4 is negative 48, and negative 48 times 4 is negative 192. Now I want to write this with this notation here, the notation of sequences. So I'm going to say a sub 1 equals negative 3, because that's what my sequence starts with. And then I have to think about the procedure. The procedure is to take the previous term, which is a sub n, and multiply it by 4. And what that give me? It gives me the very next term in the sequence, a sub n plus 1. So using the recursive formulas, I have just described that sequence. Or I've written a recursive formula for that sequence. Now I can work this backwards, meaning I can give you one of these descriptions, and then your job is to generate the actual sequence. So let's look at this rule. I have a sub 1 equals 5, and I'm telling you that a sub n plus 1 is equal to, let's say, 3 plus a sub n. Okay? So if I dissect this, it says start with 5. So I write down a 5. And then I think, okay, well, this thing here tells me to take the previous term and add 3 to it. So I take 5, and I add 3, and I get 8. So then this rule tells me to do the same thing with the next number. I take 8, add 3, and I get 11. And I take 11, and I add 3, and I get 14. And I take 14, and I add 3, and I get 17. And I've just generated the first five terms of the sequence described by this rule.